You know, when you go somewhere, you get there, and you can't remember what it was you went there for. It's happened to me now. Come on, let's get going. <laughs> so here's the trailhead starting point. It's a ironwork structure, I think. We're full of stones to represent a cairn. And swirling around on a spiral are the points of the compass. Down there, south, east over there. You know the rest. <laughs> <laughs> but I was here just a few days ago during the flag festival and it looked fantastic surrounded by all these colourful flags fluttering in the breeze and they were in all of the shops around the town as well and each of the flags were designed to represent what the shop do whether they're a, a florist or a baker's so that's a great starting point The Cumbria Way is a 73 mile trail in the county of Cumbria in the northwest of England and it goes from the town of Ulverston in the south to Carlisle in the north through the beautiful Lake District which is a national park. So let's get on with it. After a short distance it's left for our first Cumbria Way signpost and over the bridge. Just a few hundred yards up a lane to this narrow kissing gate, hole in the wall, and here the views start already. Fantastic. Well hello and welcome back and a new trail. It feels like so long since I went on a trail. Oh, it's over a year and I've got itchy feet to say the least. Ah, the Cumbria Way. I'm really looking forward to this. I know the Lake District very well indeed. And um, it's going to be like visiting a load of old friends with all the fells and views and valleys and lakes. So, and a great day to start the day. I brought the sun with me again. <laughs> There's the Hode monument in the distance in the shape of a lighthouse to John Barrow a famous son of Elverston yeah so the Hode monument to Sir John Barrow uh, the lighthouse structure that nicknamed the pepper pot I believe by the locals and uh, it looks really high up from the town but it's not that bad a walk there's a few different routes and um, the views are tremendous south out to Morecambe Bay so I can recommend that uh, if you get here the day before the hike or even if you're just visiting Ulverston. Ulverston's a great little trailhead town it's um, it's got lots of interesting buildings and uh, cobbled streets and um, independent shops and things like that and uh, like I said the flag festival is really good it flags down every street on almost every building and uh, there's a real vibrant culture there several festivals in the summer and um, there's a Laurel and Hardy Museum because Stan Laurel another son another famous son of Ulverston there and uh, but you never you never get me having one of those cheesy touristy pictures in front of the statue outside no not for me today. It's 
buffeting around a lot and uh, playing havoc with the tripod. It's already blown it over twice. <laughs> Quite slow going in the first few hours up from Ulverston, which is at sea level. Um, you've obviously generally trending uphill, but you've got to go through lots of farmyards and over walls and stiles and up and down, twisty turn, lefts and rights, and sometimes it's not obvious which way to go, so you have to keep consulting the map and that. So quite slow going but I can see ahead now and uh, I can get my first view of the high fells the Coniston fells in the Lake District and um, I'm hoping to go a bit faster on more open land so far so good on the path oh no I'll have to uh, give them a wide berth I made it past them but they're in pursuit ah I've reached Beacon Tarn Oh, it looks good. It's a bit too cold and windy today for a dip though. This is 10 miles in and the Cumbria Way goes round the left of the tarn as we're looking now and then through that gap on the other side. But I'm going to go round the right side of the tarn and up that little fell there because that's called Beacon Fell and I know there's a fantastic view from the summit so I'm not missing that. Whew, I'm getting battered by the wind today. I didn't expect this. So before I go up Beacon Fell, I'm, uh, I'm going to have another break and uh, enjoy this beautiful view. Actually, it's not too cold. Just been down there to filter some water and in the shallow bit it was quite pleasant actually <laughs> but I don't need it's not boiling hot today and the winds blowing so I'm quite cool actually and uh, I'm gonna get up this fell now and uh, show you the view <laughs> it's crazy windy up here blimey I'm I'm lying down behind a rock just the summit is just behind me and the view is just in front of me and it's pretty special <laughs> but I just thought I'd say the wind is mad so I'll give you this reveal but it's probably awful audio which I'll have to dub over Out of the wind on the other side of the fell <laughs> I can hear myself and I can stand up without falling over <laughs> oh beautiful view ah. 
brings back very good memories. So from here, follow the track back down, join back up with the main Cumbria Way route. It goes around to the left of that small hill there and then goes to join up with the lake shore of Coniston Water and then it follows the, the, uh, the lakeside path all the way to Coniston Village. First decent bridge. Oh, nice falls too. I'm at the shore of Coniston Water and there's a jetty here. Let's go and have a look from the end then. Oh, a couple of steps, be careful. Right, I'm right on the end. A bit choppy today. Tree, amazing. Blimey. This tree's fallen over and demolished the wall, right where the path goes. Can't get over that. I think that I saw another stile or another gateway down the bottom here, so I'm going to try and go round. Another tree fell on the gate. Danger! Tree fell in in progress. No kidding! Right, down onto the shore. Let's see if I can get round. Oh yeah, looks like I can. There's carnage around here. There's about 15 massive trees down. Wild camping, anybody? Actually, there's a lot more than 15 trees down. There are hundreds down. Hundreds. I don't know if they're just cleaning up after a massive storm or whether they're, you know, taking them all out, but either way, it's made what was already a pretty gnarly path along the shore, even more gnarly. <laughs> Another jetty. And another bridge, and we're not far from the village now. So I'm thinking about where I'm going to camp or stay. When I get to Coniston, that's 15 miles. So I've made it out of the, uh, the rough forestry section and all those up and down, twisty turny um, path sections with exposed roots and loads of trip hazards. It was good, it's okay. I don't mind trails like that, but um, you do tend to spend your time staring at your boots rather than the views. Um, and there's a lot of overhanging trees which obscured the view of Coniston Water from the path. So that was, that was a pity, but never mind, it's a flat path now. Just up there under the cloud, that's the old man of Coniston. 
and coming around over the back of the village there that's uh, around to Weatherlam a great group of fells and once you're up on the tops up there you can walk for miles and miles just on the ridges it's great so I'm stopping at Coniston Hall campsite and here's the building behind me and the uh, the office is just there and you can just roll up normally 8 p.m. every day on Fridays today's a Friday they're open till 10 uh, it's quite a big campsite and I came through and had a good look and there's a good shower block toilet block and there's they've even got catering as well selling pizzas and coffee and stuff like that and also breakfast so um, that's enough for me that's 15 miles for the day and um, it's been a long time since I did a hike so <laughs> or a through hike so I didn't want to push it too much so the smell of the pizzas <laughs> and the call of flat ground with uh, with soft grass and a shower has won me over so that's where I'm going I'm pitched up and I just want to see those trees over there I don't know if you can make that out that's how windy it is they're rocking and rolling and it's been blowing pretty hard all day as you've seen <laughs> so I'm pitched up here uh, on this side those I've got a screen of trees over there and there's also a dry stone wall so it's quite calm here right now and I'm all set up and I'm ready to get some food on and that's the end of day one of the Cumbria Way here at Coniston see you tomorrow <laughs>